Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to go through how the Velocity Processor, which is another MIDI plugin, works inside Logic Pro for iPad. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So as you can see on the screen, we have Logic uh, Pro for iPad running on an iPad Pro M1. So let's click and create a new project and we select track. And for the purpose of the tutorial, we just load a MIDI software instrument, which, as you know, sounds like this. Just the default deluxe classic instrument. Now, let's activate the controls here for pitch modulation and velocity. Then let's go to the properties here of the surface. So the surface settings, and when it says velocity, yeah, let's change that to fixed. And the reason I'm going to do that is because then I have a fixed slider here, which I can use to change the velocity, because I want to show you how the velocity processor works for, as a MIDI plugin. So let's go inside the uh, plugin editor, and let's click on the MIDI effect, and let's select the velocity processor, which is a Logic Pro MIDI effect. Let's double click to open it, um, and that is what it looks like. Now, let's exit for uh, from it uh, for a moment, and let's add just after the MIDI effect. Uh, let's add a MIDI um, monitor, and the reason for uh, doing that is because uh, that will help to actually visualize. Uh, what is happening with transformation adjustment to velocity. So if I double click on it, here is where you will see monitoring MIDI events. If I click on the F key here, you see I have a note on, a note off, the note number is 53 here, channel MIDI uh, number one. And when the note was uh, on, on, the velocity was 71. When it was off, the velocity was zero. Which you can see here, uh, you can see here on the right hand side. Now this is a nice MIDI monitor which you can find as part of the MIDI tools offered by Audiovic and the producer of Atom Piano Roll. But there are other MIDI monitors as well as you prefer to use. So let's uh, go back to the velocity processor. So how does it work? Well, it processes. Um, velocity for the MIDI events which are incoming, which for the purpose of these tutorials are coming from the play surface here at the bottom. So it can process um, velocity on note on or note off, as I just showed here on the MIDI monitor. When you press a note, you have a note on MIDI message and note off MIDI message. Okay. And as you can see now, it says 71 here, and it doesn't say velocity um zero it says velocity one here because uh, the velocity processor is already working um so it works on a note on a note off and it has a three modes of operating the first one is a compressor or an expander okay first of all it has also a note range so you can exclude some notes uh, from being processed which i will uh, show um later on okay and then here on the right hand side, you have controls like the threshold, duration, and the makeup, or you can have also an auto gain with a set minimum here, which you can adjust. Now, this works as a compressor, right? You have a threshold here, and then you establish the ratio. So, for example, if I say the ratio is um, one, there are no changes, right? So, if I go to MIDI monitor and I press on the F, now it says velocity one and 77. Let's clear this as well. So we have a better view. Now, if I was to lower this down, it says 64 on note on and velocity uh, one on note off. Now let's go back to the velocity processor. Okay. Here it says makeup one. If I was to double click and reset it to makeup zero, you will find that now velocity on note off, it was at zero. So as you can see, the makeup was adding up by um, one, uh, the velocity, and because that is what you would do on top of the response of the, the uh, compression or expander, depending on the ratio that you have set here. Because when it is below one, it will act as an expander, okay? 
So let's say that uh, at the moment the duration is one, so we can monitor what is the maximum velocity, which we have set, which is 63 at the moment, which is based on these uh, um, slider here we have on the surface settings. So let's say that we want these to act when it is above um, 50. Okay, again, because the ratio is one, there are no changing, zero, 63. Okay, but let's say that I double, um, I actually I put this to maximum, which is eight times, right? So now if I press here, it will say 51 and zero. Okay, so it has reduced that velocity from 63 to 51. And um, you can see the threshold was over 50, so it has reduced that. It uses a soft knee as, um, as, a, as, a, as an approach. Now, um, you could also use it as a, um, an expander, right? So if the ratio is below one, which I will show you in a moment. Let me show you while I'm here the note range. So DC2 here, if you look at the mini monitor, is a 48. And DC3 is a 60 as a note number. So let's say that these will start to act only when you get to um, 60. So now if I press DC2 here, it will say 630 because the compressor is not working because we it's not falling within this range. But if I press DC3, which is within the range, you will see a velocity reduction from 63 to 51 because it is above the the uh, because it is within the range, and then of course it is above the threshold of 50. The ratio is a maximum, so it has reduced it towards 50 as quickly as it could. Now. Um, it is 51 as a reduction. Let's reset these actually down to the zero. Let's say that I want to make a makeup of 20. So instead of being 51, now if I press the same note, it would be 71 here um, because it added 71. And you can see also on note off, you have 20 instead of zero. Of course, if I go to the velocity processor and turn off the note off, you will see the velocity on note off will be now down to zero right so it depends if you want it to operate on note on or note off as i mentioned you can also have it on auto gain so let's say that we have um, an auto gain of uh, 60 here so um, we go to midi monitor and we press here on f you can see it goes to 61 instead of uh, 51 if i was uh, to say um auto gain of one uh, you will see it stays to uh, 51, which makes sense. Um, okay, so let's see now how it works as uh, an expander, right? So let's say that um, um, we set this ratio down to uh, 1, we remove the auto gain, we make up zero, it is within the note range, so let's clear um, the uh, monitor, let's press an F here, Note 53, so we have 63 as velocity on note on and zero on velocity note off. Right, so let's say that we go below here, 0, 1, 2, 5, right? And let's say that we set the threshold to, uh, why not, 80. Now, the velocity set here on the slider is 63. If I press the note, you will see it has um, gone up, okay? So... And, um, um, sorry, the, the, that is the threshold, okay? And so if I was to say um, threshold of 30, that's better, okay? And I press the same note, you can see it has expanded the velocity up, okay? But this ratio from 1 to one uh, to 0 0.1 to 5, and therefore it has expanded the velocity up over... Uh, well, to the maximum in this case, okay? So that um, that how it works. So sorry for the confusion. Um, that's just a threshold. Okay, that's the first um, mode of operating. So the next one is uh, value or range. Again, you have uh, the same note range, min, min and max here, acting still on, on note on and note off. But here you have two options, value and range. If it is set to value, you can set a fixed velocity here, in this case 32. So let's press a note here. You see it says 32 now on note on. Now, you can also set it as a range here, and um, 
it really depends on what um, what do you prefer and um, to actually um, to actually do I like to reverse them like this uh, there you go so in this case it said range minimum one uh, maximum one to seven so if I press a note here mm -hmm. it says 63 based on the slider here on note on and zero on note off because we are not acting on note off at the moment now so this at the moment is 63 but let's say that we say we want to range minimum to um 70. if i was now to press a note here it will become 70 because that is the minimum that i set it so it will confine that to uh, to the range but if i was for example to slightly move this up uh, here on the slider, so we'll increase the standard um, velocity of press here. All right, and um, a little bit more. There you go. 79. So it is above this minimal value, and therefore it leaves it because uh, it falls between 70 and 127, so it leaves the velocity of 79 based on the slider here, which I'm using for the surface, okay? But of course, I'm, at the moment I'm using um, a play surface, but you could use an external MIDI controller, right? Lastly, you have uh, an add and scale, which um, works uh, really easily. Again, same option here, note on, note off, and the range min and max for uh, the notes, but then you have a scale and an add. The scale at the moment is set to 100 and the add to zero. So if I press a note here, the velocity is 79, and let's clear this again. As you can see, 79 on note on. Let's say that, um, um, actually, let's ma make it into a round number if, um, if I can. So it's easier, 80, there you go. So let's say that I make this 50%, like um, so. Go to MIDI monitor, press mm -hmm. again, it becomes half of 80 and the full 40. Straightforward and the same if I was to go to 200%, right? So it was 80, I press this again, it goes to the maximum 127 because it, that is the maximum that you would, um, that is allowed. Now, go back to one. If I press again a note, velocity is 80 on note on. I could also add, so let's say that I add 17. I press a note, now is 97. 80 plus 17 equals 97. So the uh, velocity processor is a MIDI effect which you can use to effectively act as a limiter, um, act um, to, um, to restrict velocity, uh, within certain range, uh, you can use it uh, as a compressor, as an expander, um, or can, you can use it just uh, as um, adding or scaling up and down to the incoming velocity. Okay, I hope you found the tutorial useful, and as always, see you next time. Bye.